Viewers and subscribers, and welcome back again on this platform where we tell you undiluted truth. A video started trending about two days ago or thereabout, where the Senate president was heard advising Nigerians to eat free food wherever they see one. Times are difficult. Wherever you see free food, please endeavor to avail yourself. Good. They have come up to say and disclaim on the video that the video is um, uh, doc doctored and all of that. According to Nigerian Tribune, Senate President's Office debunks viral video, says it's doctored, malicious attempt to embarrass Akbadio. The Office of the Senate President has denied a viral online video disputing Senate President Goswell Akbadio talking about free food and hard times as a malicious news item from doctored video which was from a joke between the Senate president and his colleagues and not aimed at the public. Now, let me tell you the actual truth. If they think that this truth is not enough, that it is Dr. Pabio that said it, because that is what they're trying to say or paint the picture. The truth of the matter is that the video is an old video, not a current one. It happened the last year, okay? It happened the last year. It's not a recent video. But he was telling his colleagues about their banquet, if I listen to this, be a, a, another a, a dinner uh, for the Senate President and the Deputy Senate President at 7:30 p.m. today. The venue will be at the Chopstick uh, Mississippi Ministers here, Maitama. So uh, this announcement is from distinguished Senator Dan Duse Mohammed. Apparently, it is not uh, being funded by the uh, government, neither is it being funded by the National Assembly, and it is uh, his initiative. So I urge members that times are difficult, and wherever you see free food, please endeavor to, <laughs> endeavor to avail yourself. Th thank you, distinguished Senator Dandese. Robert. Good. You see that? He was informing them about their banquet, even in the suffering of Nigerians. Okay? That wherever they see free food, they should chop. Okay? That, that the things are hard. Gullible people deceiving themselves, claiming that things are hard. Whereas the real suffering Nigerians, you can imagine what they are going through. Now, Nigerians have brought it forward for them that, oh, some months ago, about a year ago, you knew where you are taking Nigerians to. And you informed yourself so you people are better prepared earlier enough. Because you know that you are part of the game to plunge Nigeria into the kind of suffering they have never seen before. That is the truth. Because I don't know what you are trying to defend. Whether what you say, you know, be used to come say, if you see free food, make you shop. Under what contest? Yes, Nigeria is now bringing it forward for you that because it is now fitting into the context of what they are seeing today. The reality of the time they are living today. But now that I'm up, I'm out, let me remind the Nigerians for now. As they have intimated, intimated, uh, uh, as they have intimated Nigerians say that they are going to increase the threshold of suffering and hunger that people should find free food last year just know it that very soon they are going to make a law as useless as they have always been in their law making and the passing of bills they are going to expect just expect them to make a law or pass a bill of free food to ensure that wherever they are having all one bear you don't have bouncers to bounce people out because i am even pitying people who are conducting ceremonies wedding parties birthday even burial everybody's looking for where to eat if you go to that barrier if you see where they are they are they are guiding food like a vip like a vip if you see where they are guiding one plate of food in a barrier or in a function <laughs> you go <laughs> you go don't say things don't really change because Nigeria is every weekend, definitely, you must go home, one play, go and have free booze. 
People do it more often, but now everybody's tightening up. The Senate will pass a bill very soon to make sure that you throw your gate wide open if you must conduct or have any party whatsoever in Nigeria. That is how useless our country is. Well, let me leave it at that. What is your take on it? Drop it on the comment section. Let the discussion continue. Do you think that actually these men are deceiving themselves? Or actually are Nigerian fools to believe them? Let me have your opinion on the comment section. I'm also Jenny Peters, the advocate for good governance. Bye bye for now. <laughs>